Um, beyond that, then, um, also, we, we need to have an attitude that we may have to go through tribulation, and yes. we need to, to, to be finding the Lord in reality uh, in that at the moment, because even if it's not the great tribulation, there could well be other tribulations in that sense before yes. the end. Absolutely. Yeah. Um, you know, many Christians already are in that situation around the world. Yeah, absolutely. And, uh, you know, I was grateful that when I first became a Christian, some of the people I met and were inspired by were people like Richard Von Brandt and Brother Andrew and others who've been serving the Lord to help the persecuted church. Mm -hmm. um, let's, first of all, we take a break um, and give your voice a rest for you. Uh, and let's take a couple of emails. Um, hello, Tony and Doug. Uh, this is from Les. Uh, my question is this, because Lot was taken from Sodom and Gomorrah just before it was destroyed, and Noah was taken into the ark just before destruction came on the earth, could that point to the church being taken just before the Great Tribulation, which will be mid-trib, what do you think? Yeah, that's a view which is held. In fact, in, in Genesis 19, it says, uh, the angel says to Lot that he can do nothing until you're out of this place, so he can't actually rain down the fire from heaven onto Sodom until Lot and his family are out of so Sodom. Uh, so that is another one of the scriptures which is used to speak about the uh, church being removed before the, the uh, final period of the wrath of God is poured out on the earth in the last part of the Great Tribulation. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, from Jill. But why would our bi bridegroom pour out his wrath on his bride? Uh, Revelation 4, 1 says in Greek, metatauta, after these things, okay, meaning after yeah. this. The end of the church age is described in Revelation 2 and pound sign. I think it must be true and 3. John is told, come up here. After this, all references to the church are in heaven, not on earth, and the Lord Jesus takes Jewish titles, the line of Judah, the root of David. The time of Jacob's trouble is for those of Israel who do not believe, but he is saved out of it. I have heard teachers say that we can't leave Israel to go through it on their own. David Paulson for one, she says mm -hmm. in brackets. But it doesn't mean we love Israel less because we long for our bridegroom more. Yeah, that's uh, <laughs> one I didn't mention about the pre-tribulation view, but it's uh, that Revelation 4 and 5, uh, where, where John is taken up into heaven, is a type of the rapture. So that at the end of chapter 3, you have, as she said, the last reference to the church. And from chapter 6 onwards, he's dealing with the tribulation period uh, as Jesus in heaven glorified uh, really un opens the scroll and looses the seven seals, which opens the tribulation period so that mm -hmm. the church is taken out before that. Um, on the other hand, there are saints during that time, so there are people who are saved during the tribulation right. period. Uh, which must mean that there is a body of people on the earth who believe in the Lord Jesus. Uh, well, the usual view of that actually is that there is a conversion of 144,000 Jews who are not right. Jehovah's Witnesses, but <laughs> uh, <And> never were <laughs> Jewish believers who then preach the gospel in great power. And in verse 14 of chapter 7, it says... Uh, where are we? These are those who came out of the great tribulation, washed their robes, made them white in the blood of the Lamb. And uh, they show the great number of people who are saved during mm. that time. Mm. Uh, so that, that's one of the, issue, the views which is taken from the yes. tribulation. So the, the idea also that God can't pour out his wrath on the church. Well, that's true, but uh, mm. we are saved. And in a sense... If a Christian is in a situation like, you know, in Hiroshima when the bomb falls on it, he's going to be killed as long as, along with everybody else. If you're in a Nazi concentration camp, you're yes. in a Nazi concentration camp along with everybody else. Yes. But the Lord is going to Take bring that person who's killed in Hiroshima a new body to be with the Lord. Mm. And he's going to keep, as he did with the Ten Booms in the concentration camp yeah. and yeah. watch over his people. So you can't just say that it's impossible for a Christian to be in a situation of trouble and suffering in the world because that is how things are. Uh, mm -hmm. And if we're saying, as we are, that 
whenever the rapture takes place, the church is taken. Now, yeah. that's all believers in Christ, all those that have received Christ. Now, they could have, some of those would come from a Jewish background. Yeah. Some of those would come from a Gentile background. Oh, yeah. What you've got less left on earth are actually not only unbelieving Jews, but also unbelieving Gentiles. Yes. Um, and, 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 and so you, you have got, still got, to the, and the fact is that it does appear that there are those that, that recognize the Messiah after this event and, and have an opportunity even during that, that period of, of, uh, of, 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 of the uh, tribulation, the seven years. Yeah. I mean, obviously you don't need to have somebody there to, you know, read the four spiritual laws to you and to <laughs> do an ultra appeal to become That's a Christian. Right. I mean, in fact, I became a Christian sitting in a room after a party on New That's Year's Day in right. 1970, and I just yeah. prayed and asked the Lord Jesus to forgive yeah. my sin and come into my life, and I knew that he was there. So yeah. God can save people uh, supernaturally, and well, every salvation is supernatural. Yeah, absolutely. But, I mean, he can bring people yeah. to Christ without yes. an agency being there. That's right. And through the Word of God, and that's actually why the Society for the Distribution, Distributing the Holy Scriptures want to give Bibles to every Jewish person on the earth so that when the time <laughs> comes, they've got the, the Bible in their hands and they can read it. Which but, and in these about. days, we're, we're, we're seeing many coming to the, through, yes. through having a dream concerning it, yes. especially in areas where the gospel can't be sure. preached. And, yes. so, and so it is possible um, yes. from, yeah. from that point yeah. of view. And if an event, you know, which was clearly supernatural, took place, yeah. then people have to ask, well, what's all this about? Yeah, and then and it if would start. The opposition tells yeah. it's something to do with UFOs or something, then they could <laughs> disbelieve that. But uh, so I say, you know, I'm I'm presenting all the yeah. options here. No, so. that's fine. Fascinating, Tony. One of the things that, of course, has been said quite recently is is this whole area of revival, yeah. and that we we are going to have revival, and in fact, what was. Uh, in Lakeland, Florida, was prophesied as going to uh, take us right in. It was the third wave that was going to take us right in to the second coming of the Lord. So in other words, what they were saying was that re we, we would go into the coming of Christ in great revival. Yeah. Um, is there in Scripture anything that would back that up in saying, yes, there is going to be, revival at the end time, worldwide revival mm. at the end time, or do we have scriptures that would even say the opposite? How, how do you see this? Okay, well, the word revival definitely isn't in the New Testament. <laughs> <laughs> um, Jesus certainly spoke about evangelism and about taking the gospel to the ends of the earth, and he said that one of the signs would be that the gospel will be preached to all nations. So uh, what we can see is the fact that the message is going out and um, I would look much more to what's happening in places like China and uh, uh, even in countries like Iran where you, we're hearing of many people coming to faith in Christ um, in the midst of trouble um, and yet wanting to share their faith. Um, where I have problems with the revivalism is, A, is it a genuine revival? I mean, is it, are people really coming to a saving knowledge of the Lord Jesus, especially when they're claiming signs and wonders? Are the miracles really happening or are they... Uh, a lot of hype when yep. you investigate it is not really happening. And also the, the idea of the kingdom and dominion, which often goes with this idea That's that right. um, you know, the revival will come and then eventually the Christians will end up um, being so powerful. And I remember reading, I think it was Rodney Howard Brown, who said that uh, you know, the revival will be so strong that Christians will be hiring stadiums and multitudes will come and limbs will be created and the blind will see and the lame will walk and basically whole cities and whole nations will turn to Christ as a result. Now, I certainly don't see that in Scripture at all, but it says in the Bible that many more people are going to turn to Antichrist than to Christ in the last days. Uh, so that you're going to see um, the idea also of the kind of government of God, that the church will end up ruling and reigning and governing on the earth. I uh, had a, read a word from Bob Jones, who I think was one of the uh, Kansas City prophets yes. and one of the people who's been the sort of mentor of the Lakeland thing as well. Um, he was saying that <coughs> by, 19, um, by 2012 we're going to see the government of God uh, with apostles and what prophets reigning. So I thought mm. that's a load of rubbish. I mean, mm. there's no way. And uh, I, I, re I totally reject actually that whole way of thinking. I think that it's, it's a deception, in fact. Right. 